A touchback is at sales over the end line. On the ground, this is Leonard Fournette. Eddie Jackson with a tackle. Not much happening there on first down. I thought there might have been a hole for a split second. Yeah, but it dried up pretty quickly, didn't it? Closed fast. Go, Here's second and seven now from the 28. Right. On second down, here's Fournette. They'll only get a couple up to about the 30. Watching that play unfold and watching him complete it brought back memories of doing all those pursuit drills to make sure you don't over-pursue and let a guy get a cutback lane on you. He did that very well. You praised him on tape yesterday for the angles that he takes to the ball. Took a great angle right there. On third down, Fournette. This one across the 45 before he's brought down. Uh, Jacksonville first down on a pickup of 17. Defense had a chance to get off the field here on the opening drive, couldn't do it. I know that we go into these meetings with coaches and sometimes maybe we can get, you know, a little bit numb because they're always going to talk about how important third down is, aren't they? Offense and defense. In this case, one capitalized and the other, as you said, had a chance to get off the field and didn't get it done. He rifles one that's intercepted. Picked off by Danny Trevathan. And they will be set up now as he brings this thing all the way back inside the 20. And that's a great example of ball skills right there, partner. You and I do a lot of games, and I can't tell you how many guys look to run with the football before they've intercepted it. So that's a nice job of focusing on the task at hand and coming away with the interception. Here's the first carry for Tariq Cohen. And he gets it down close to the 10-yard line. It's a seven-yard carry to set them up with a second and three. Pretty effective run there, and now they can start to smell that end zone. Pound the rock. Make sure you use your old line to set the tone of dominance and physicality, and pound the rock. This is Cohen on the toss. Pretty move. It'll be a gain of two on the play, but they'll remain a few inches short here with third down looming. The good run on first down followed up by a not-so-good run on second down. Now let's find out they're going to stick with the run here on third down. A lot of people would love to see some play action here. I say go with your best running play over your best blocker. first before he's brought down inside the five at the four give him a gain of four able to convert and that sets up first and goal now on first and goal Howard and he's into the end zone touchdown Bears Jordan Howard taking it in from four yards out and the Bears have taken the early lead Parkey with the extra point, and that makes the score 7-0. Here's Parkey now, set to kick it away. And this will not be returnable. It's out of the back of the end zone for a touchback. 
Here comes the Jaguars offense as they get set to go again. And following the interception, just any interception, are you a little bit more cautious when you start that next drive or no, you just throw that out the window? I think you are. I don't think that there's any way you can run back out there and go, ah, totally didn't affect me. Let's just go ahead and be loose with the football again. You're going to take care of it, but you have to be careful about being too cautious because now you can't run any offense mm -hmm. at all. Still want to attack. We'll see how they attack them here. They'll start out on the ground. It's Leonard Fournette. And that play going absolutely nowhere as he's belted before he could get out of the backfield. This will be a two-yard loss on the play. And that'll make it second and 12. So the opening play of the drive goes backwards. Now they'll come up on second and 12. 11, 11. Three to now Bortles throwing on second down. That one complete to D.D. Westbrook. And he'll get it up near the 35, right at the 34 here. They get 11 back on that one. It leads to third down. Bortles to throw on third and one. Open man is Westbrook complete. And he's going to have the first down at about the 38. It'll be a pickup of four. Good enough to earn him yet another first down. So here's a first and ten at the 38. Hank, 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 Hank. Lucy, Lucy. Move. On first down, Bortles. He'll check this one off to Fournette. And he'll get up to the 43-yard line. It's a four-yard pickup, and it'll be second down. I know most of the time when the ball's in the air, you're thinking wide receiver, tight end. But running backs, they can be a big part of any passing offense nowadays. Lucy, Lucy. Bortles to throw once more. He's going to air one out. That's caught inside the 20. A gain of 39 that time. Well, this is how you shape the thoughts of that interception on the last drive. You come out and start this one four for four. And watching him throw it around with that type of confidence reminds me of a guy I played with way back when who told me, I don't care if I throw 10 interceptions in a row. I'm going to stay confident and keep flinging it. I'll just figure there's something wrong. And that is caught. Touchdown, Jacksonville. In for the score. And the Jaguars are within an extra point of tying this one up. Bouncing back nicely from that bad opening drive where he threw the interception. Drive number two leads him right down the field and into the end zone. So obviously his confidence was never lost, and that's a good thing to see. Great quality to have, and you absolutely must maintain that as a quarterback. But I have to think that they're probably still on the script that they prepared for this game. Just the second drive. They've worked on these plays all week in practice. Put them, in, put them to good use on that one. The Bears' offense now gets set to head back onto the field. And they will simply, Charles, be looking to duplicate what they did last drive when they were able to push it in for six. And they hope it'll be that easy, right, to be able to take exactly what happened before, replicate it. They may have to make a few additional changes along the way because I'm sure the defense will make some adjustments, but they've got to have great confidence having scored the last time out. Trubisky brings the Bears up first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. They begin the drive on the ground with Cohen. And he'll go down right at the 30-yard line. Deshaun Gibson there on the tackle. I call that play a success. A nice inside run sets up a very manageable second down. A very solid gain on that play. Now Cohen. Try to bounce it outside, but he's only able to get it back to the line of scrimmage. They'll say no gain on the play there, and now it'll be third down. Now 
Trubisky. Pressure comes, and Trubisky goes down. Yannick Ngakwe able to track him down for a loss of 13, and it'll bring up fourth down. So on fourth down, on is the punter, Pat O'Donnell, to kick it away. And take it right on the 30. Good blocking there, nearly sprung him as it is. It'll go as a 19-yard return. And the Jaguars go on offense, first down and 10. Out comes the Jacksonville offense as they get set to take over here. The last possession, these guys were able to tie the game with a touchdown. And now they'll have a chance to move out in front. Yeah, let's give a big assist to the defense. who got the ball back. The special teams went out there, handled things. They've got it. They've got momentum. I know they're eager to get out there and put it on display. They begin with a run by Fournette. And he's going to take this one down inside the 45. A solid run on first down. Gain of seven leaves him with a second and three. Well, no matter how they phrase it, staying on schedule, staying ahead of the sticks, whatever you want to call it, seven yards on first down, that fits the bill. They got two of the three they needed there. Leaves them with third and just a yard. One thing to keep in mind, partner, especially in the second half, when you've got a running back of this size, of these dimensions, I can just tell you, attrition does set in for a defense because you're excited about hitting him in the first half. Maybe not so much in the second half. And some of these shorter gains turn into bigger runs later. They only get two there, but on third and one, that's all they needed to keep the drive going. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. Throwing on first down is Borders. He's going to go for a big play. And at the seven-yard line, the catch is made. And that one results in 35 yards. That's a big-time pitch and catch right there. And, partner, I remember the days when quarterbacks would try this. They were holding their breath. But nowadays, they're counting on their receiver to be just a little bit better than the defensive back when it's one. And he'll take this one in for a Jags touchdown. T.J. Yeldon, a five-yard touchdown run. And the Jags are able to cash in for six. Point after by Lambo, up and good. And that makes the score 14-7. to seven. Here's Lambo out to kick this one away. And that'll carry over the back line of the end zone for a touchback. The Bears' offense now getting ready to take over. And on the last go-around, they really couldn't get anything going. They had to punt from deep inside their own territory, which means they're going to lose the field position battle as a general rule. Gotta go, gotta go. What they're looking for now is a little more consistency. In a heavy traffic, and it's intercepted. Picked off around the 27. And he'll take this back down inside the 20. Oh, timing is everything on a route like this. He tried to drive that football into a tight spot. And if you're a little early or a little late, chances are there's going to be someone there. And sure enough, this one's going the other way. So after the INT, it's Bortles. And it's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. They're going for a receiver there. Already has one touchdown of this first half. A second one not to be. I like where their headspace is, though. I mean, I really like the thought process, right? You got a guy who's already scored one, right? You want to go back to him, continue the hot hand, and make them adjust to you defensively. I like what they were trying to get done, even though they weren't successful. And able to push his way forward here for a good little game. That second down play call was not to pick up the first down. It was to accomplish what they did to get them into a manageable third down because they had the incompletion on first down, so they were behind the sticks, so to speak. They needed to make up some ground, and they did. Two minutes remain here in the first half. Back with more from Jacksonville. Don't go anywhere. We'll be back after this. Hey, 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 hey. Throwing his Bortles on third down. The open man is shark. It's complete. And he couldn't quite get there. Tackled down at the one. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. 
They'll try and run for it with Fournette. And this one will wind up with him losing yardage. Back to the four-yard line. A loss of a full three yards, and now it's second down. And this Fournette territory here, and he's alone in the backfield on second and goal. They'll give it to him up the middle. And he's maybe going to get this back to the four, but that's about all. Call it no gain that time, and now it's third and goal. His path became similar to almost running a stretch play, didn't it? Trying to find a crease anywhere to put his foot in the ground and cut back. It just never materialized. The Jaguars on third down. A perfect four for four thus far. This is third and goal. Bortles. Nowhere to go here. He lost the football. Wow. That ball gets knocked free, but a teammate comes along and scoops it up. Almost like it's almost like baseball. Guys at bat, people are on base in scoring position. One guy doesn't get them home. The next guy comes through and picks him up. And avoids the turnover. And Lambo will put this one through. And they will move up by 10 now. 17 to 7. That drive took him inside the 10. Good job defensively to hold him to three. Yeah, I like how you did that. Give a little tip of the cap to the stop troops there because they didn't give up a touchdown in that situation, right? Made them kick the field goal. And yeah, points went against them, but that feels a whole lot better running off the field. On to the field now come the Bears. And what do you think goes on here in this situation? If you got the football, you're trailing, you're back in your own territory with just a little time. Do you try something? You're thinking about jump-starting your team, right? You just mentioned they're down. They're trying to get back into the game. But you got to figure if something goes wrong, you may have put yourself in a spot where you may not be able to come back in the second half. Managing risk, this is a big decision here. Trying to shake off the interception. He'll look to throw. On the right side, this is Miller. A very solid gain of 27. Well, if you do read man coverage, Brandon, the drag route's a pretty good one to run against it because you're running away from people on it. Trubisky on first down. And a double coverage, and it's intercepted. Picked off by the linebacker, Talbot Smith. And he's able to take this one back to the 36-yard line. So that's back-to-back -back drives where they've thrown an interception. Ordinarily, we look at the offense and say, what's going on with your scheme? Maybe we should look at the defense and just give them a whole lot of credit. They've got them frustrated right now. So from the 36 now, first and 10. Bortles now on first down. Dancing to his left. And the throw left sideline here is caught, but they'll rule it incomplete. Couldn't keep his feet in. Second down. And that one will fall incomplete. Clock here now just under 30 seconds to go in this first half. They'll try again from the 36 on second and 10. Lucy, Lucy. 372. Throw that, throw that. You, you, you. Bortles again here on second and 10. He's got a rifle one deep left, and he fires one that's intercepted. Eddie Jackson picks it. And a potential turning point as he'll get the football in very good field position late in this first half. That late in the clock, second quarter, why not just run it a time or two and get it into the locker room? What you're saying makes absolutely perfect sense. Run it and get out of there. But I'm just wondering if the pressure of today's NFL and the high-powered offenses that you're facing may have forced them into saying, let's try and get some more points. Hey, 18, 18, 18. After the interception, here's Trubisky. Gonna let one fly for Robinson. 
And for the third time here in this half, it's intercepted. A.J. Boye with a pick. Just 11 seconds to go in the half as they have it first and 10. Fournette, a first down carry. And he will take this up to about the eight-yard line. Now a timeout taken. Perhaps a chance for one more quick play and then another timeout if they hurry. We'll see. Line of scrimmage is the eight on second and eight. Shot before half for Bortles. A throw left side complete to his receiver Westbrook. And he is out of bounds, able to get it across the 20-yard line. Due to time constraints, we move you forward in today's broadcast to the beginning of the third quarter. Both teams appear ready for the fight ahead, and we resume action here in quarter number three. Let's field it a few yards into the end zone. And he'll make it across the 20 as his guys will set up shop at the 23-yard line. So here's the Bears' offense now as they get set to start this third quarter. They have the ball here for the inaugural drive of the second half. Pretty big deficit, though. We'll see what adjustments were made in that locker room. And I never want to make something more important than it actually is. Right? I don't want to create more hype than what is there. But this is a new do I'm doing it, though. <laughs> this is a really important drive. And we often talk about teams scripting plays to start a game. A lot of them script to start the second go, half, go. too. And they're scripting something that they expect to get them into the end zone and back into this game. We'll see if that script is a good one for them. Now it's Trubisky. Eluding the pressure right. And eventually taken down here. Great coverage downfield. Telvin Smith. Tough to handle on that blitz. He gets him for a loss of five. Now Trubisky on third and long. Under pressure again, and down he goes again. The former All-Pro, Marcel Darius, in there to drop him, and back-to-back -back sacks now bring up fourth and long. Here's Pat O'Donnell now. As the drive goes backwards, so he's on to punt it away. It's taken to the 26. Very good return there. Give him an even 20 yards. And possession will switch. Hands first and 10. Here comes the Jags offense now. Time for their first possession of half number two. They have the lead here. Well, we talk a lot about pregame speeches. What are halftime speeches like? For the most part, not nearly as emotional. They're a lot more clinical. Every now and then, though, they'll get after you if they think they need to light a fire. But in this case, let's go into the virtual locker room because here's what I think happened. They got in there and they said, listen, let's take control right away. We've Defense, got yeah. we've, got the de we've, got the, we've got the lead. Defense, don't give up any points. Turn the ball back over to the offense and let them go down and score and give us more of a cushion in the game. Check so far. Defense shut them down. Let's see if the offense gets done. Now Bortles. Out to the play for Hyde. And he'll be brought down, it looks like, right at the 40. It's a pickup of six and good enough to move the chains. So many times you hear today's NFL described as a space game. Get your best players into space with the football in their hands. That's why sometimes you just swing it out to your runner, get him out in the flat, and let him have a chance to make people miss an open field. They'll buy some time right. And he's going to be intercepted a third time. Picked off by Kyle Fuller. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. Well, I get what he was trying to do. He was moving to his right and trying to shift the coverage. But instead, he shifted the coverage also to the right and threw it right into it for an interception. Move, move, move. 
They'll start things on first with Torrey Cohen. And he'll lose yardage here. Back at the 11, he goes down. It's a loss of two there, bringing up second down. First play of the drive goes the wrong way. Here's second and 12. On second down, Trubisky flushed out right, and this will be incomplete. This Let's offense go. in desperate on, go, need go. of a conversion as they come up on third down. 1. Now it's Trubisky. Got his man complete over the middle. That's Burton. And he works it across the 25 before being tackled. That his first catch so far. They've held him under wraps, but he's got a first down there. On first down, Trubisky. And he's got Rome. That is caught by Cohen. Touchdown, Chicago. A big play there. 73 yards. And the Bears draw a bit closer. Well, he's used to running it that distance. Here he had to catch it, too, before making the run. Heck of a play for the score. There's not many things better for an offense than a back who is a complete guy who can run it and catch it. And we just saw him complete a big-time play for a touchdown. And they will not get a chance to return this one as it's through the end zone for a touchback. And now out come the Jags. And with three interceptions thrown already, we'll see. Do they, do they rely more on the ground game here? They may have to change things offensively to try and settle things down, not just for the guy throwing the ball, but for the rest of the offensive unit because there's confidence has to be shaken a little bit. And you just wonder, is the backup going to start to warm up a little bit over on the sideline? Sunday, Sunday. They'll run it now out of the gun. And he'll fight forward to about the 27-yard line. Give him a couple on the carry there, second and eight. They tried a quick hitter inside, but that one was swallowed up because what they're hoping is a big defensive lineman will take the bait and move laterally and open up a crease that they can run through. Didn't happen on that play. It'll be a gain of six, and all of a sudden here, it's third down. Hank, 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 Hank. Lucy, Lucy, Lucy. 11, 11. From the gun, it's Bortles. Forced out to his left. Oh, he almost intercepted it. They're just forcing it into too many tough spots. That was almost a fourth pick of the game. And now fourth down. Now the offense is not leaving the field. They're going to stay out and go for it on fourth and three. Four down, four down. They'll go with a big bank for it. And he's able to get the first before he's taken down at the 36. Well, they deemed it four down territory, and they got four yards to pick up the first. The fourth down run successful. Now they look to pay it off on first down. I 39, Lucy. They keep it with Fournette on first down. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. 11 yards there for Jacksonville and a first down as well. They're trying to show that they can run the ball and protect this lead. Give it to the backs, play a little bit of keep away, don't you think? And that's probably a good philosophy at this point, going to make that defense stand up and stop them. On first and 10, here's Bortles. And it pops 
free. The collision there jarred the ball loose and brings up second down. Trying to get their tight end involved finally. That's the first time that they've looked his way. He's kind of been a forgotten man in this offensive scheme. Yeah, didn't look his way at all in the first half. And I'll bet you the offensive coordinator made a note at the half and said, let's get him involved because he could be a big-time playmaker for us. Now Leonard Fournette. And taking it across midfield and inside the 45. So a good run by Fournette. Now another first and ten. Spread right, spread right, spread right, spread right, smack. Move. Now a play fake here on first down. And he takes a shot on the release as this will be incomplete. Well, we always talk about how you've got to be quick when you go through your progressions. And here's another prime example. Trying to look downfield. He was standing in the pocket. But just couldn't find anyone open, could he? No, not enough time. They hit him and forced that incompletion. Ball on the 42 as they come up second and 10. Bortles will try again on second down. And the catch made here by Marquise Lee. And past the 35, he'll be dropped a yard or two shy of the 30. 11 more yards there, and this methodical drive continues. Bortles now perfect since the second half started. 7 of 7. It's first and 10. They'll run it now out of the gun. And he'll fall forward to the 29-yard line. Adrian Amos up to make the tackle. Offensively with the lead, you want to run the ball, keep the clock going, but you also want to still kind of be in attack mode too, right? So how do you do that and not come back on your heels? Yeah, think about all the practices we've watched where they have that tempo period to go over things just like this, where they describe the scenario, tell you what they're looking for, and make sure that they're still attacking, yet at the same time not going so fast as to leave too much time on the clock. The second down attempt there, knocked down as it leaves the quarterback's hand, and it's incomplete. The Jaguars on third down. They've been near perfect, four for five to this point. Hey, hey, this hey, is hey, third hey. and nine. Set. Green 80. Green set. Working from the gun, it's Bortles. Open man right side is Sharp. And he'll be a couple yards shy of the red zone here at the 22-yard line. They get seven there, but it brings up fourth. Here we go. Again, the offense will stay out there. They've converted once on this drive. Hey, hey, what hey, can hey, they hey. do here on fourth down? Green 80. Green 80. They'll go for it. It's Bortles. Open man is Westbrook complete. And he takes it in. Touchdown, Jacksonville. As his guys are in for six. And the Jaguars add six to their lead. And when a Hail Mary is completed for a touchdown pass like that, I think any defensive coordinator just puts their face right into their hands. I don't think there's any doubt about it. And I don't have stats in front of me. I don't have the empirical numbers that say that in recent years, the Hail Mary pass has been completed more than it has been. But it feels that way, doesn't it? And I know the defenses are spending more time on it. I think the biggest mistake they make is that they play everything from behind the receiver. I think they've got to start getting people in front as well to try and knock the ball away. Trubisky brings the Bears up first and 10 at their 25-yard line. 18, 18. From the shotgun is Trubisky. And he couldn't hang on. Would have been their fourth pick of the game. Instead, second down. They have not gotten him going at all. Tried to spark something there with a longer throw. Unable to complete it. But you have to keep trying. He's one of their best playmakers. No matter what it says on the scoreboard, you're always trying to get him the football. Again on second and ten, it's Trubisky. And his throw is going to be incomplete. When you can count on one hand the number of completions you've had in a game and we're in the second half, that tells you it's really not been your day. Yeah, but you're losing. You can't just abandon the passing game altogether. Yeah, maybe you can get hot, string a few together, and get rolling. Here's Trubisky. And his pass is intercepted for the fourth time today. 
Picked off by Deshaun Gibson. And he will take this one home. It's a touchdown. And that one will pretty much erase any hopes of a fourth quarter comeback. With emphasis, interception, return for touchdown. Door closed, locked, reinforced. Extra point tacked on by Lambeau. And that'll make this a three-score game now. The lead moves to 17. And this will be a touchback as that sails over the end line. Here's the Chicago offense coming back out onto the field. And fresh off the pick six, they've got to forget about that quickly. In this case now, the guy throwing the ball, he's got to be like when we talk about with defensive bats who get beat for a long touchdown. Short-term memory, right back out there doing the things that he does. It's caught inside the 25. Oh, and the big play's going to get even bigger as penalty flags are down, and I believe they're going to get a face mask penalty tacked on. A big play that time through the air. 65 yards. Looking to throw Trubisky on first down. The quick slant caught, and he's able to get it down to the two-yard line. Nice gain of eight that time, and it's second and goal. Decent start to the drive, but let's face it, they need a lot of things to go right in a short amount of time down three scores. Yeah, they're going to run their two-minute offense here in this game, but this is for future games. Can they get better and be ready for the next time, hopefully with a chance to win? From the two now, second and goal. Come on, come on. And now the Jags defense deciding to call a timeout. It's just their first. They'll be down to two remaining as we step aside here in the fourth quarter. familiar sight all afternoon as they stop him behind the line call that a loss of five yards on the play and that is going to set up third and goal they try again with Cohen and he'll be brought down here at the three yard line call it a gain of five but still a decent ways from the end zone now on fourth and goal this drive started with first and goal. Now that it's fourth and goal, anything less than a touchdown would feel like a letdown to me. And he will not even make it back to the line.